In addition to having custom buttons, I wanted to have my own USB joysticks that will plug into the side of the Xbox adaptive controller. So what I have is some PS2 joysticks, style joysticks. These are analog sticks I use for other projects. And this is a neat 3D model. If you're on Thingiverse, check out 700346. That will lead you to this model. And it's a uh, it's kind of it's got a wood grain finish. I printed this in uh, wood PLA on the 3D printer. The only challenge with this design is it's designed to have these wires come through, but it is not big enough for the Arduino Pro Micro, aka the Leonardo, aka the board that will allow it to act as a mouse, keyboard, or game controller. And even though that is very small, as you can see, I still don't have space for it. So I took the model and I pulled it into Microsoft 3D Builder, which is a very simple built-in 3D modeler in Windows 10, because I'm a simple person. And I took the model and I modified it a little bit. And here you can see them side to side. What I've done is I widened up this area here so that one of these boards will fit in. I also had to carve out a little bit more of the top part uh, so I had space. And the final thing I did was this top part did not have a notch and I added that notch so that the USB cables will fit a little bit better. And the same thing with um, this side. You can see that I've made the notch wider. So the two components, I put a rectangle or cube shape here and carved out this bigger spot. And then I had another one that I subtracted out to get that. The end result now is space to put this lovely little board which I worked on last night and here we have an example of one of them wired up and uh, it connects to the analog joystick with five wires ground power X Y and then push button push button is when you push down on the stick and I was able to wire this all up nice and neat <clears throat> so that it fits in there quite nicely. Very happy with how that came out. The cover will go on. There'll be three screws on the back to hold it. And the hole is large enough here that the micro USB cable fits fine. One thing, if you are going to print this, and I will be posting out my updated model for those who don't want to do it yourself, this, in theory, can be printed without any support. You print it this way on the flat side, and you could print it without support. And depending on your filament, you might be okay. This one, you could see a little roughness. Um, but since I opened up this space quite wide, I really needed more support. So I, again, I printed it like this, but I had it do support. So there's quite a bit of support material. So adjust your slicer to not waste too much. The parts take about, on my maker select, uh, about 45 minutes apart. So an hour and a half from top and bottom. And watch your filament, and again, this is where you may need support. Uh, this is an earlier one that I tried to do using uh, glow-in-the-dark filament, and it did not come out anywhere near as clean, and it's, this area is a real mess. This is workable, but uh, this will probably go into my parts bin. So I've taken the Thingiverse model 700346. I've modified it so that I could fit the micro board in here and the USB cable with the stick and the stick part was already done in the model. 
and if you would like to check out other projects that I have flagged in Thingiverse, just look for Nelson II, N-E-L-S-O-N-I-I, -I. do a search in Thingiverse, and you'll come up with my collections. Look for the Astroscope collection that has a lot of joystick and motor related things. Next up, I will be talking and testing this with the computer.